Hey everybody, this is just a disclaimer. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been trying to figure out how to switch the baud rate. Now, I already made the changes before I actually go into the video, but I'll show you the errors I was getting as to why uh, it didn't work. So I tried to switch to the baud rate, and I'll just click an example. Like, say I wanted to 50, 57,600, okay? And I, I'll open up, and I'll be waiting for a long time, and think of that it's all loaded up, but uh, it, it is not, and it's not working. And I go to my settings to, check, uh, to test my my stepper motor um, drivers and everything, but then I'll, I'll I'll press one of these buttons here, and I'll get this error that calls that says a uh, gerbil has not finished booting. And so anyway, this is the reason for this video. I will now go into it. Hey everybody, thanks for coming by. Um, this is just going to be a quick video on um, basically how do you change the baud rate um, in your uh, your uh, config file. Um, I searched YouTube and uh, the internet and Google and all over the place and uh, I couldn't really find any good information on, on what's going on with the baud rate because when I opened up Universal G Code Center, um, the baud rate was set to uh, 9800 and uh, I was like, how, how can I fix that so I can uh, uh, get a better baud rate? And if you don't know um, what a baud rate is, um, just go ahead and Google that or YouTube it um, for what the baud rate is in, in Universal G Code Center, and they'll tell you. But I'll, I'll just try and briefly try to explain it. It's just basically the, uh, the lines of character codes on the, when, when the uh, program is trying to read the G code. It's just a line of character codes, and it's the rate of how fast the program is going to read those codes so that it can spit out the coordinates uh, for your uh, your CNC machine. So anyway, I don't want to go into detail on that, and I'm not a professional on that anyway, but I just want to show you a quick video on how um, to change it and uh, re-upload it. But basically, here's how you do it. Um, you just kind of, if you're on a Mac, and I'm on a Mac, um, uh, what is my Mac? My Mac is uh, Sierra 1012.3, uh, 10.12.3. And basically, if you do go through the whole steps, which I'm not going to tell you, if you download the Arduino and uh, the download the uh, the Gerbil, or uh, the Gerbil, um, and all that other stuff that the program that actually helps run the CNC shield and you actually download the Universal G Code Center, you will need to send the baud rate to the gerbil or gerbil. I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway, uh, which is, uh, let me see if I can find it. It's in my, uh, my downloads here. Basically, it's this file right here and all these config files and everything here. And, um, Basically, what you'll do is it's real easy, and to be able to find that, this is right now in my downloads folder. But in it, in, to be able to find that in the actual Arduino folder, you'll just click on the the, the hard drive here, go into your users minus storm shadow, and then go into documents, and then the Arduino, and then keep going to libraries, and then gerbil, and then config file. Before you go into all this, or even if you begin to upload, it's entirely up to you, but you can just go ahead into the config files and then just right click and open with text editor, or I use text wrangler, it doesn't matter, but open with text editor or notepad, I'll just open it right now. And you'll open up the config file, and right here, this lineup, see I already changed mine, but when you first get it, it'll probably come in at 9800, and which mine did. But anyway, this line of code right here, I'm not going to change it, but that says define baud rate. You'll just change it to the baud rate. And for my instance, I just went ahead and changed it to 34, uh, 38400. And you can change it to whatever settings uh, your um, Universal G Code Center spits out those options. So if you have it like it goes all the way up to like, uh, I think 124,000 or something like that, and, or even higher. But whatever that number is, you'll replace uh, the old number with a new number and just hit save. I'm not going to do it now because I already did it. 
and then um, then you'll have to go through the whole entire steps of uh, uh, re-uploading if uh, you already uploaded it but if not if you haven't uploaded it yet then you'll just go ahead and upload this file first all the configs I'm not gonna do it because I already did it and then you'll open up the gerbil which is in let's see here uh, examples in the Arduino and then uh, right down here uh, gerbil or gerbil to Arduino and then upload that well and then I already did it so I don't need to do it anymore so I'm just close that out but anyway and then you'll reopen up the universal G code sender and you'll notice mine is already set to 3800 um, where it used to be only set to oh yeah it's 9600 but anyway it used to be set to that but now it's set to this and it seems that 38400 seems to work good on mine but you'll just recycle open it up and wait for it to load and then I get this notification to let me know that it's okay and it is loaded and if I go to the actual like buttons here you'll see that it works um, and it's running the uh, 38400 baud code uh, baud, baud rate um, so anyway hope this helps and thanks for watching